Hey everyone. I know you guys are probably asleep. I was asleep, but I have awakened. I am woke now. <laughs> and I should have did this here earlier, but I was kind of skeptical about doing it. Which is the review from the season of the uh, the new season of the Real House, the Real. Housewives of Atlanta. So I'm waiting until a few of you guys come on in. Wh whether you all come in quickly or not, I know it's um, almost 1.30 in the morning. So I see a few of you all on now. Hey, Gwen, why are you up, child? You want to know about this review, too. So if you guys have missed it, oh, my eyebrows are not done. That's okay, child, because we don't hear... <clears throat> We're on here. Oh, it jumped up to six already within like 15 seconds. But anyway, I'm going to do my review. The only reason I would be doing reviews, I don't know if I would do them every week, but hey, Deacon Evans, I don't know if I'll do them every week, but I know I will be doing them from time to time. But uh, yesterday was the starting season off for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The ladies this year is Candy, which Candy Burroughs, which is the only one that I think is like really happily married right now. And we'll get deeper into their situation or what's going on with her deeper into the se as the season um, prolongs. We have Cynthia Bailey that's back. And you guys know that she and Peter are going through their divorce. Their, their divorce will play out on this season. We have Kenya Moore, which is going through some issues with Matt from what I can see. I've been reading some stuff about them. I don't want to expose a whole lot right now because I don't want you all to be discouraged from watching the show. It's going to be a, an excellent season. We have Sheree Whitfield, my namesake, who's on here, and I'm so glad she's back. I really do like Sheree. I really do. I like her persona. I like, uh, I, I just like her. Love her. I, I, I just love Sheree. She's straightforward, sometimes a bit bodacious, but I like her. Um, we have Portia, and my girl Portia is back. And, you know, I like Portia because Portia is a go-getter. They put her off the show and just had her to come back as uh, a guest appearance on the last season because of she and Kenya Moore getting into that fight when she put her hands on Kenya Moore. But, honey, she didn't let that stop her. She came on back, baby. And now she has worked her way back up to the peach. She got the peach. And my girl Phaedra is back. Phaedra is back. Phaedra is holding it down as a single mother to her two boys. She's doing what she has to do in order to get past this divorce. And I think that's all the ladies. If I say their names, all their names is Candy, Portia, Phaedra, Kenya, Sheree, and Cynthia. Six ladies. So let's start the review, honey. Miss Lyons, why are you up? Uh, so let's start the review. Now, I'm sitting here. I've watched it several times because I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss misquote anything because this is going up on Twitter. Twitter is where I'm going to have my comebacks and Twitter is where I'm going to get lashed at. Um, I, I was in Atlanta in April taking care of some business. I knew the new season was coming out. We knew all this was going to come out, so... I was there to take, you know, checking out some stuff, doing some stuff, and um, waiting for the season to come because I knew that the tweet that we had going on Twitter for a minute when I was there, it was going back and forth. Sheree Whitfield told me to stay off of her damn property. Her exact words to me, stay off of my damn property um, at the time, unless you've gotten it back. And... They were filming the show, actually. And like I said, I like Sheree, but hey, I can go wherever I want. If I have the connections and want to do footage and uh, want to get a piece of this pie, <laughs> I'm going to do what needs to be done, and that's what I did. So I didn't do too much talking about why I did the footage and stuff like that, but now everything is coming out because we're, on this, we're, we're doing the season now. Am I going to be a part of the season? No, that's another thing. I don't have my connections to be uh, an extra on the show anymore because... My connection was through um, Cynthia and Portia, more, more so Cynthia. 
Cynthia's still on the show, but she don't have pool like she used to. Anyway, let's let's go from there. But anyway, we're going to start off talking about Candy. Candy Burroughs. When they filmed this, Ace, she had Ace in January. If you guys watched it, Ace is, was five months when they filmed this. They said it on there. So let's see, January, February, March, April, May. I was there in April. So they was filming. Um, so I'm happy to report that I think this season some things are going to come out concerning Candy and Todd from what I could see during the trailer. I don't know. Like I say, some stuff I'm not going to expose because I've been looking at the trailer. But I think at this point what's going on there, they're having a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, parenting situation going on with the baby. Ace is the cutest. They are potty training him at five months. I don't know how that's going now. So I think it, it should be going okay. He'll be one. I guess he should be 10 months now. We're in November. So he should be one in January. And I'm pretty sure if they were potty training him at five months, he's probably potty trained by now. So, child, let's move on from um, from Candy to let's see who's next. I want to do it in order. I'm doing my DVR so I can do it in order. Okay, now we're at Kenya. Child, let me tell you, I posted Kenya's house tonight. Let me tell y'all. That is literally a ditch. When I say a ditch, a ditch. The home is beautiful now, honey. Don't get it twisted. The home is definitely beauty and full. Um, when I went to Kenya's house, she and Sheree lives like up the hill from each other. I, it may be maybe seven or eight houses between them, if that many. But <clears throat> they live in a very, very, very... Good neighborhood. It's very hilly. When I say hilly, hilly. When you walk down Kenya Moore's driveway, and now I see she has pavement. She has a driveway. When I was there, Kenya Moore did not have a driveway. It was nothing. It was literally a ditch full of nothing but gravel and dirt and stuff like that. So her security comes out and tells me, uh, you know, you can't be on this property, dude. I don't have to step on her property. I can st stand right here where I am, and I can stand here and take pictures and do what I want to take because uh, as long as I'm not on her property, I can zoom in and do what I want to do. So he couldn't stop me from doing that. Uh, but she told him to tell me or whoever not to take any. But Kenya Moore, your security are uh, people that you get from the ghetto so you don't have to pay them that much, okay? They didn't have on any uniforms or anything. He was out there in a Toyota Corolla, no name brand or anything on the side of his car. Real security people have uniforms on, boo. All right, come for me if you want to. Hey, I'll expose the rest. But anyway, let's just say her housewoman that she had, um, they call it titty sweat because they say their breasts were sweating. Sheree is crazy. I love me some Sheree. And all that dust they had on them, boo, you should have waited until you got the house completed trying to hurry up and I'll do Sheree. Mm-mm. So let's move on from her, and we're going to go to Cynthia. My heart went out to Cynthia, like I told you, Cynthia is my girl, because she and Peter are going through this divorce, which will play out on this season. They, when they got married, it played out on one of the seasons, and the divorce will play out on it. I think Peter is, you know, I think some things he does is distasteful. Um, I think he means well. But he, he just don't do well. I think he really does love Cynthia, but he just don't know how. Hey, Dexter, he just don't know how to play it out the right way. For her to FaceTime him on the show, and they, they know when they're going to be on the show. She just didn't call him, and he didn't know that he was on the show. It's pre-talked about, okay? Uh, and for him to say, I'm with my new girlfriend, I'm in a new relationship, we haven't been together in three months, that's very embarrassing. But then again, it's called TV, so you're going to do whatever you have to do to do a storyline. But Peter, that was very, um, that was tacky. So let's move on from them. But I, I, my heart goes out to Cynthia. I saw when she left the attorney's office, when she got in the truck, she just kind of broke down a little bit. So she, Cynthia's very sweet. You have to... Uh, be in her presence to just really know her personality. She's a sweetheart. And to see this play out during this season is really going to hurt my heart. Let's move on to Sheree. Child, 
Now, my name is Sheree. Her name is Sheree. Sheree is going to come for me. I'm telling you, this season, she's going to come for me. And I'm going to post some of the tweets that she'll probably be cursing me out on. Because, And let me show y'all this. This is what she got upset over. Let me show, let me, give me something to show y'all this. Okay, guys, believe it or not, I am here at Chateau Charay. Um, giving you guys some footage. I don't know why that gate is right there. But anyway, I am right here, Chateau Charay. So let me turn around. Okay, that's the first one. So this is why, hey, Mayor, so this is why, number one, she was pissed off at me because I was there. Um, someone took me there. I had access to be there because um, y'all saw the gate on the ground, right? So here's the next. Here, here's the next footage. Hmm. Yeah, I got in. Okay, guys, I am here at Chateau Charay. You all can see her house. This is a huge. This was in house. April. I mean, it is huge. They have some things going over right there. I'm in Atlanta. In Atlanta. So I wanted to get to the back of this here so you all could see the back of it as well. This is how the house looks for real. Um, for real. They're still doing a lot of work here at the house. Maybe I can get... I won't be like Kenya Moore and get hurt, but <laughs> this is deep down here. So, let's see. Let's see what's going on back right here. Oh, man, I came up through the wrong way. No, I didn't. Okay, this is a big house. It's beautiful. She's still working on it. Still not open, but it is a huge house. It is very huge. It's very big. I don't know what that is up there. It's huge. Ah, can you guys see back here? Kenya Moore lives down below. So Kenya Moore lives back, back not too far from there in all those woods. Down on the That's gate. just how close they live to each other. From each other. When is the house going to be complete? <sighs> okay, well. Yeah, I got in. So. Not inside of the house, but I was able to get on the property. And I can tell y'all how, but... I did. I mean, when I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Make things happen. Okay. So, when I posted this to Twitter, and when I um, tagged Bravo, it was instantly retweeted. Instantly retweeted. And Bravo tweeted it out to Sheree and tweeted uh, Kenya. I guess tweeted all the girls. Nobody had anything to say. But Sheree, and I told you what she said to me. We kind of went back and forth. And um, now since the season has started, this was in April. Let me show you so y'all don't know. And what we're watching, they filmed this like back in, um, in April and May. So let me see if y'all can see the date. No. Oh. Maybe this was May. Okay. Can y'all see where it says um, Atlanta, Londonberry? Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? May 7th. Is that May? May 7th. I thought it was April when I was there. Okay. Y'all see that? It's, no, I know it's kind of backwards. So, uh, January, February, March, April, May. So, okay, okay, yeah, I guess it was May I was there. Because Candy's baby is five months and she had him in January. So this was May. This was filmed in May. Um, and here we are in... Here we are in um, November. So she said the house is ready. We shall see because um, I'm due to make another trip back there. And this trip, when I make there, may be the trip that I have been looking forward to making to Atlanta the, within the past four or five years. So, that's my update. Uh, Sheree, like I said, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to expose a lot 
in this season. But my review is this season is going to be a tight season. It's going to be good. Y'all get these houses together. And don't just put these good parts on TV. Don't just put the downstairs on TV and you know the upstairs is not finished. If it's not, it, hey, let me tell you something, honey. Stop trying to hang with the Joneses if you can't hang with them. Get you a regular house. Get you a townhome and stay in it. Build up or do whatever. And I think at the time that Sheree purchased this house back in 2012, that's when she broke, broke ground four years ago because it was the, it was when Obama did went to his second went through his second term. So it was four years ago when she broke ground. I think her intentions was to have it built, built and done before now. It just didn't happen. I don't know why. And old Bob is trying to get back into her life. She says she and Bob are just friends. They are growing from there. That's good. Uh, Portia, my girl Portia, honey. I told you, I'm, I'm so happy with Portia. Portia is, baby, Portia is going through anger management. You never know how to fix issues within you until you go and sit down with someone and expose what's going on and someone can help you recognize what's going on. So this is what Portia's doing right now. Portia's my girl. I don't have anything bad to say. I, Portia, honey, that's my Snapchat buddy and my Twitter buddy. I love me some Portia. Phaedra, I love Phaedra. Phaedra, like I say, Phaedra is the single mom. Phaedra is a go-getter. Phaedra is showing us how you could be a single mom going through divorce and still doing it, still doing what it is, what you have to do, okay?